Hey gamers, Rick here with Game Trade Media. Still here in Reno, still here at Gamma. It's a, having a great time. We got Clay here from Capstone. What are, we, what are we doing? What is this in front of me? This looks like a like a <laughs> lot of very interesting pieces to a, a game called Carthago. Yeah, man. So this is our this is going to be our Origins release this year. Uh, it's a card driven game, and um, it, it's not really a game board. We have all these different game, I guess, game boards so that you okay. have multiple different locations and stuff. But yeah, so this is our. Um, it's like a medium, medium heavy card game and okay. with multi use cards. So, well, tell us how. So, what is the end goal? Are we, are we, I see ships here. Are we trying to build the best or the most ships? Or? You, so everybody is like a, a trader or a merchant, if you will, mm -hmm. and we're trying to increase our status in that guild. Okay. Back in the day of Carthage. Um, and so, you've got this little tile here that shows the different seats. I've set this up for a two player game. Okay. So, some of the seats are blocked off um, they start off very very cheap so like in a in a four-player game there's like a one that only costs six and as players start acquiring more seats um, they get more expensive and okay. there's less seats so um, your goal is to get more seats you also want to trade with ships okay. you might have to do battle with ships All right. um, but you're gonna get these ships and um, the more seats you have you're gonna multiply that by the number of ships you have so it's kind of like a seven wonders uh, scoring mechanism there. Okay. And then there's also scoring here, which uh, we play over three eras. Oh, and nice. So each era has two different um, achievements that you can unlock, and you will only score points for these individual achievements. Okay. If and you've acquired them. And if if you've acquired it, or if I've acquired it, can you also acquire the same one, or if I block that? Uh, path and it's you? yeah, there is blockage and like a. Uh, three and four player game but in a two player game um, there are two spots there's a two dollar cost and then the second player is a five dollar cost mm -hmm. so um, but yeah it's it gets very expensive and money is very tight in this game so five dollars for an achievement is okay I don't know if I want to do that you know? yeah, well, I want to do something else over over yeah, here okay exactly so show us uh, a round of play yeah so what we're gonna be doing is again it's three eras each era is five turns, and this is the, the turn tracker here. Okay. So um, on a turn, you're going to come to this wheel here, which is there's five different actions to choose from. Okay. And you have an action disc to select. And okay. you can choose any spot on here. Um, right. For example, if I wanted to go to this market and acquire some more cards in my mm -hmm. hand, um, I would go to this action, put it down. Okay. I must play a card from my hand that has the that matching symbol, symbol. exactly, okay. in the corner. All right. So I would play that there, All right. and then you look at the wheel and like, okay, who else is there? If but, nobody else is uh, there, I'm good. But okay. since in a, in a, in a two-player game, we have to have uh, two dummy characters, so it scales very well for okay. two to four players. Um, so it's as if there were four players mm -hmm. playing. Um, so for each additional disc at that location, you have to play another card from your hand Ooh. in the disc card. So, this game is very tight with um, with your card play. Okay. There's five turns per era before you get all your cards back. All right. And so we start out with seven cards, mm -hmm. and if you're going to these locations with where other people are, and you're continuing to pay these extra fees, right? You might not be able to take all five actions. Okay. So it's it's pretty tense there. All right. So you've placed your your token. Yeah. You've played your card, but because this one's here, you have to play another one of Which these. Which I did. Which you've done. Yes. And the, does it, the second one does not have to match the... the yeah, the simplest. second one is just a wild, any card you want. Okay. Then you do the action, which would be... I could take a card, mm -hmm. add it to my hand. Um, we would replenish this. Okay. And then I can exchange another card. Like if I want to get this one for some reason, I can exchange. Right. And then there's another action associated with it, which is flipping a ship. But that's getting a little bit deeper in the rules. But essentially, this allows you to gather more cards. Okay. These cards are important because they have an action symbol on it. Right. So, for example, I placed this card down. Okay. With the, with the cross swords? The cross swords is an action. Mm -hmm. And you only have one at the beginning of the game. Okay. So, you know, and I'm not going to be able to take that action now because I don't have the card to play it. So sure. You might, you know, you, got, you just got to watch your card play. But So you have the action, you have mm -hmm. a goods type, and then you also have a cost or a, a price point if you're trying to pay for things. Like okay. if I want to put a marker in here, it costs me money. Mm -hmm. Or if I want to put a marker on the achievement board, it also costs me money. Okay. So 
there's a lot going on in this game, as you can tell. And um, uh, but it, it plays very smoothly. Um, it's a 60 minute game, and um, so some of the other actions just to give give you a flavor. Um, you can trade with ships okay. to acquire them, and they give you special abilities. Nice. Um, so, for example, this one. Um, let's just talk about these achievements, and I'll explain what this does. But in the first round, you mm -hmm. have five turns, and so you're going to do your, you'll, you'll do an action, and then mm -hmm. if you have the chance to come here and put a marker on here, you can do that. But okay. after five turns, we go to the next era. You can right. no longer put markers on the All previous right. era. Okay. But this ability, if you acquire this ship, it allows you to kind of go back in time and place okay. markers on there. Okay, so, that's kind of cool. Yeah, the ships are essentially rule-breaking cards. Okay. Um, so you can acquire them. You mm -hmm. can also do battle with, with the ships. So um, one ship against another if, if we had ownership of them? When, well, to get a ship, mm -hmm. you can... Um, so this oh, is how you trade with I them. I see what you're saying. So like, if I really want that ship, mm -hmm. I can put a marker on here by playing a certain action, mm -hmm. and I'm like acquiring this ship right here. Okay. So I want to build up my hand to be able mm -hmm. to buy this ship. All right. Is essentially what I'm doing. Um, or if I don't like anything here, right. I can go over to this harbor, and there's room for two people. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, at a later turn, you can do battle with a ship. Okay. And you have to have the correct strength to be able to defeat the ship, and right. then it would be yours. So okay. And if th these ships are removed, are they replaced with new? Yeah. So let's say let's say um, I wanted this ship right. Uh, so let's say I did want this ship right here, and you went here okay. with your marker later on. Yeah. And then you beat me to be able to to acquire the ship. So yep. let's say you on the next turn you bought this ship. Yep. Now all these slide down. So the one I wanted is now gone. Oh, it's in the next harbor, and I can't. Tricksy. Yeah. <laughs> you can get pretty nasty with All it. Alright. So, but what you're doing is these discs represent your influence in, okay. in the in this era. So, your influence, you know, you're, you're placing it out on the mm -hmm. board, you're influencing the Senate, um, and then you have your achievements. You're going to eventually run out. Right. Okay? So, how do you get more? One of the actions on the wheel that you can take allows you to remove one of these discs on your player board here. Okay. So, and then the cost is printed on the top. Mm -hmm. And you'll notice that these are the goods, like two, two cedar wood mm -hmm. cards. So you would just, you would have to have those in your hand and, okay. and they would be discarded. Right. And then you can remove one from here. Nice. So now my strength is now a three. So okay. the middle column affects your strength when you do battle with ships. So okay. if you remove, if you had the ability to remove all of these, you can have a strength of five. Oh, wow. So, so you're kicking some butt. Yo, know, heck yeah, man. I like it. Uh, the left-hand column gives you artificial seats in the in the Senate oh. area. So the more seats you have, that's mm -hmm. the multiplier. You're going to multiply the number of seats you have times the number of ships you acquire. So more in-game scoring here, right. more access to ships is what the middle column does. Wow, that's expensive on that. On that, it looks like it, it takes forever. What is it? Th three like uh, yeah, bolts so of cloth, three. Uh, Urns of wine and what's that other glass? And glass. Yeah. So this is this is not final components. There's the the artist forgot to put slashes between those. So it's oh, three of uh, one, one okay. type. Okay. But that will be f this is in this is all non-final components okay. too. I forgot to mention that. All right. Because I'm looking at this, I'm going. That <laughs> yeah, like, is I got nine cards. Right. What am I gonna? That's like one whole game. Right. So, but yeah, the first one you unlock okay. is zero. Right. So and then. But it still counts as a seat. That right. is zero. Yeah, that's this zero. Is a zero seat. Yeah. So, okay. Hmm. Yeah. So, but it takes some time. Then you get up to. Up to oh, okay. Three. So, um, so as you get these, um, that's this is your influence that you can use to then do things. Okay. So to battle a ship, that's kind of a fun action to do. So you have to have a marker over here, okay. in the warship harbor, and then you have to take the corresponding action on a later turn. Mm -hmm. You'll flip over a card. Okay. And you'll look at its combat value. So this one's a two. Mine is a five because somehow I've unlocked all these. Right. So then I have beat this ship. Right. It, it comes into my possession. Um, and then I get some I get some bonus cards for winning. Nice. So you can fill your hand with some, some cards. And how many ships can you have in your possession? As many as you want because, wow. again, that's part of the end game scoring. You take the number of ships you have mm -hmm. and multiply it by the number of... of Senate seats. Yes. Oh, okay. Plus, then you'll the look at these. Yeah, so okay. like if, if, I, if you've got like... This one, here's a good one, that's easy to explain. So if you have access to this one, you're gonna get, at the end of the game, two points for every disc you've got on an achievement, achievement tile. Oh, nice. So 
I wouldn't have access to do that because I don't have my marker on there yet. Mm -hmm. So there's so many different ways to play, and there's a bunch of different ones. So are these, these double sided? Uh, no, they're yeah. just sorted by era. So. Oh, okay, I see. Uh, yeah, makes yeah. sense. Yeah. So there's a bunch for each era, and mm -hmm. so it, I mean, every game is going to be completely different. I so. love it. Yeah, it's. Yeah. There's a lot going on, and the the best part is, um, so with Capstone, mm -hmm. we're known for the heavier right. titles. Um, it starts off like, oh, this, you know, this is, you know, I play my card, I want to do this. Yep. It's, oh, I don't mind paying the extra card, and then, right. like, it gets to like turn four, and you're like. I want to go to the warship harbor, but I can't. I only have right. this action, and it's like, oh no! And then you start stressing, and then the, the turn ends, and you might not have put any markers on here. Right. So then we go to the next era, and you're like, no, right. now I forgot about that. You do get all your cards back, right? But then you're kind of like pressed for time because now there's only a couple more. It's and you get all your cards back, and you maintain all the cards from the previous era that you may have acquired. Well, when you, uh, for example, when you unlock these, you need mm. to, like, for example, two pieces of wood. Um, right. So if I had, pretend I had two pieces of wood in my hand. Right. When I unlock that, that goes out of the game from my hand. Right. So, but any cards that you play face down to do your actions, mm -hmm. you get those back. Okay, so, cool. But, yeah, it's, there's a lot going on. It's really interactive. And, and it looks like, I mean, there's obviously, because of the uh, combat here, or if I win the ship here like you said it can you, you can what really ship you're actually going to get so i'm not only worrying about what i'm doing here but i can yeah. worry about what you're doing because i want to figure out oh what's their strategy oh, okay i need to do everything i can to block that strategy yes. and it becomes a very uh, st uh strategic uh strategic gameplay. gameplay for the long term and then right. very tactical from turn to turn mm -hmm. because when you on on the beginning of the game our markers start off of off the board right. so so throughout the game, we're going to have all four of these on the board, mm -hmm. and we're always going to be running into each other. And it's going to look something like this, where it's, for example, these two actions, like if it's your turn, right. you can still take the same action, but okay. you probably don't want to. You want to do some other mm -hmm. stuff. It's like, do I go here to go to trade at the market? I have to pay three total cards. Right. Or do I just, I don't really want to do any of these, but it's basically just one card to do that. So right. it's... You know, it's like, where do I want to really yeah, go? When I was looking at it as you were showing off the play, I was thinking, I'm going to go here because I do have two cards that I can yes. move for that and then go into my my phase. But you, you said that I had to have to purchase something off the line for They had the symbol, right? Uh, yeah. So you don't have to. Well, <sighs> this is this is the action, but um, you just have to play the card okay. from your hand. In and this case, one you additional would, card. In one random card, yes. Yeah, okay. So you, yeah. And yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, and so you could do that, and yeah. then you could, what this allows you to do is, um, after you've placed your discs out here using other actions, mm -hmm. you can then acquire your ships. Yeah, so, so I would have gone into ship mode. Yeah, yeah. and you would have started to get yes. some ships for some rule-breaking abilities and stuff. Yeah, so. I like it. That's cool, man. Yeah, it's it's really good. Um, I'm really excited to showcase it at Origins. I think it's going to do really well for us. And what is the price point that uh, this is going to be? At? Have you got that? Yeah, so before I mention that, these are very thin components here. Um, we have beefed it up to two millimeter thickness. Um, okay. The cards are not going to have black borders, so okay. uh, a lot of people don't like that because of scuffing or marking sure. of the cards. Yeah. Foxing. Yes, yeah. and then um, these don't have rounded edges. We'll have you know the rounded. Yeah, we're just trying to make it a nice presentation. Absolutely. Um, but it's going to be uh, a forty dollar MSRP for this. Nice. So, yeah, it's and that's a lot of a lot of components. And like these tokens are great. Yeah, they the wooden look, components. Yeah, they look um, amazing. Really, really good deal here. Good I job. think so. Very cool. And for all of you watching, where could they find more information about Capstone? Um, you can find more information about Capstone um, at capstone-games.com. We also have Twitter. Uh, that's where we're most active, capstone underscore games there. And uh, pretty much at your friendly local game store, you can find all of our products. Nice. So, so make sure you're following uh, Capstone on all of their different uh, platforms uh, and Facebook. Yeah, yeah, Facebook, same yeah. thing, Instagram, and all yeah. that stuff. Follow them on all of them so that you don't miss any news, updates, anything on all their yeah. games. They have a lot of really cool games. My favorite one, that we, we've, we've played it almost every time we've seen each other, is Climbers. Oh, yeah. It's so much fun. And it's <laughs> such a, just a, just stab your friend in the back kind of oh, game. Oh, yeah, it can it's get so nasty. <laughs> it can get real nasty. It's so fun. Um, <laughs> so check that out. And ch again, go to your friendly local game store. Ask them about Capstone Games uh, product. If they have it on their shelf, put 
take it off their shelf and put it on yours. Yeah. Uh, and become part of that community, have a good time, as we always like to say. And on that note, I've been Rick with Game Trade Media. Thank you very much, Clay, for coming up. Thanks, Rick. I really appreciate, appreciate your time, it. Man. Absolutely. And we'll see you guys at the game store. Thanks for watching Board Games and Beyond. If you liked it, leave a like and a comment below and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any new content.